Hello ladies and gentlemen, my name is Destiny and welcome back to the channel. So in today's video, we're going to go ahead and start working with removing products from the wish list. And all we, all we need to do is click on a trash icon and the product is going to be gone from the wish list and also from our database. So you want to see more videos like this, to make sure to drop a like, consider subscribing as it really mean the world to me. So without any further ado, let's go ahead and get started. Now we need to open up our code editor and firstly, I'm just going to go ahead and run the server, python manage.py, run server and while that's loading up or spinning up the server i'm gonna go ahead and write a simple view to actually help us remove from the wish list so hopefully you guys know that throughout this video what we've been doing is work with the uh, ajax um rather work with the templates work with the uh, ajax views then urls before we test things out but right now i'm gonna switch gears and i'm gonna work with the wish list with removing the wish list from the views firstly before we start working with um the the templates then the ajax maybe so i'm gonna say remove um wish list yeah just like that and in here if you're taking a parameter and this one is going to be request okay and over here firstly i'm going to get the id so i'm just going to say product id should be equal to then request dot get hopefully you guys already know how all this works request dot get id which we're going to be passing in the ajax now i simply want to say wish list so this wish list is simply going to be wish list underscore model dot objects dot objects dot filter so i'm going to say user should be equal to request dot user just like that and i think that should be it now let's go ahead and get the wish list um the wish list like the products that we want to delete so i could just say products should be equal to then or we could just say wish list delete so this one is going to be wish list underscore model wish list underscore model dot object dot get so we simply want to get id should be equal to pid so this should be pid which is this one that we have over here so after we've done this the next thing that we're going to do is go ahead and delete it so i'm going to say delete underscore products should be equal to then remember it's it's wish list model dot objects dot delete okay what, I, what i'm supposed to delete is this product so i'm just gonna say products dot objects dot delete okay so product the objects dots delete as simple as that now that's pretty much what we want to do now we need to go ahead and pass in the context so for this context i'm going to start off with the bool i'm going to say boolean should be true just like we've been doing and i also want to pass in the wish list okay so i could just grab this from over here and just paste it down here okay just like that i'm gonna add a colon okay as you can see we are pretty much done so now we need to render to string so i'm just gonna say context okay instead of context i could say data should be equal to then we're going to be using render to string so the template should be core slash async remember that's what we've been working with and um i think that we should just call this one wish list list whatever so i'm going to say wish list list dot html i know that sounds kind of weird now finally i'm going to go ahead and pass in the context in there so when all this is done we need to go ahead and return a json response so we return json response and in here we're gonna say data okay this isn't supposed to be like this this is supposed to be in a um, braces just like that so i'm gonna say data should be equal to data and um do we need to pass in all the wish list also yeah okay we could just go ahead and still pass that in so i'm gonna say comma and let's say we could say all wish list because okay let me see what i called it in my wish list page before i go ahead and start passing that in so i'm, I'm gonna look for for okay for w so that it's w so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna get back to my view and i'm gonna say w just like this so w should be equal to wish lists which is this one that we have over here so hopefully you guys understand what went on let me go ahead and explain firstly over here what we did was write a simple query to get all the wish lists as you can see we grabbed the id that we're going to be passing in using jquery we simply got the products that we want to delete from this line then we went ahead and deleted the products using the delete now take note you could also get rid of this it doesn't really mean we could get rid of this and everything is still going to work fine okay so now when we've done this now i think that's pretty much what we want to do let's make sure our server is still up and running um i'm gonna i'm gonna head back to this one okay yeah as you can see it's running so let's create a url and for this one we could just copy this and put it down there and also bring it down and also for the comments 
um, I want to duplicate the comment and I'm gonna bring it down and instead of this this should be removing from wish list so removing from wish list and um, this should be remove from wish list and this should be remove not remove but remove from wish list okay so remove from wish list remove from wish li wish list and also this should be okay um, I'm gonna get back to the view so this is the remove from wish list I'm gonna copy this from the view and in the URL what I'm gonna do is just paste this over here as simple as that and as you can see our server would still okay there is a problem and I think that should be a comma problem over here so we need to add a comma and we also need to add a comma over here now this is actually throwing an error and I think that's because we did it import it and that should work fine okay so this as you can see our server is gonna go ahead and spin up perfectly well so now we need to go ahead and open up the the wish list page so open up the wish list HTML not the okay but before we do that actually remember we were supposed to create this template over here so I'm gonna copy this wish list thing and I'm gonna create it in this async folder remember we have this async folder that we'll be working with so I'm gonna create that over there and I'm gonna open up my wish list I think we could grab everything that we have over here and paste it in the wish list this one over here right I think that should be it now what I could do is just get rid of this one over there and also get rid of this there is no need for that and um, I think that's pretty much what we want to do guys I think that's pretty much it now we need to go ahead and configure the buttons so over here if you take a close look then you're gonna see this trash icon that we got over here now what we're gonna do is go ahead and make this trash icon to be to be clickable and how do we do that so firstly you could convert it to a button if you want or, but you could still leave it as a link it doesn't really mean well let me just convert it to a button so so it's gonna you know work or even look more better than a link because it's not a link but for the button now what I'm gonna do is give a style and for this one I, I want to give a border of none and I want to give a background background of none so that we don't see the button show up over there so I'm gonna come over to the to the wish list this is it over here hopefully our server is still running and um, we open up the wish list as you can see this is it still loading up yeah perfectly looking great so firstly we need to get the the idea of the wish list and how do we do that I'm just gonna say data dash um, I think we should just say uh oh what did I just do so I'm, I'm gonna say data dash wish list or we could just say data dash wish list products okay I think that's that sounds more better now for that just give me a sec I'm, I'm gonna get back to my views over here and I'm gonna, I'm gonna grab that get back to my wish list and remember I said it's gonna be data dash wish list dash product this should be equal to then we need to get the, the ID of the wish list okay so how do we get the idea of the wish list now there is something with are we still gonna change in the views of py because just like I immediately I did this I remember that there is an error over there it's not like an error it's just like a naming error that's gonna confuse you guys so I'm gonna fix that later so for this one now what we simply need to do is w dot ID so we are exact we are getting the wish list ID and not the product ID now what does that mean if I come over to slash admin come over to slash admin and I open up wish list over here um, if I hover on one of this what do you notice each wish list got its own ID down there in fact if I even go ahead and open this up what do you notice we got two now if you change this to one what do you notice fresh pair so we are not getting the product ID but the wish list ID if we want to get the product ID it's gonna be w dot product dot ID so we're gonna chain it that way but since we're getting this this is how it should be okay so when all that are done the last thing that you want to do is go ahead and add a simple class and that one is going to be we we'll call it delete wish list so I'm going to say delete dash wish list products okay as simple as that now let's copy the delete wish list products then and um, we should head back to the function JS now we're going to write a simple um, Ajax code that's going to help us remove from wish list so over here I'm going to say remove from wish list uh oh so actually I can get rid of this and get rid of this remove from wish list and this should be a comment okay so when all this are done now we didn't go we could, we could copy this but I just like writing it out so you guys would see 
so I'm gonna say document dot on click so document dot on on click and um, and that thing that I'm gonna do is simply go ahead and call the so whenever we click on the delete wishlist products which is this one over here hopefully you guys already know we gave it a class of delete wishlist products what do we want to do we want to write a simple function that's going to do something so firstly let's grab the ids okay so remember we gave that this one over here i'm going to head back there real quick and as you can see data wishlist products i'm just going to copy this we need to grab this because whenever we call this we are calling the wishlist id so that means we need to grab it in the function js so we can call this whatever we want but i'm just gonna say let's product id or rather it's supposed to be wishlist id not even product id i don't know why i keep calling it why i keep, I keep calling it that i'm just gonna say get rid of this get rid of this i'm gonna say let's wishlist underscore id be equal to then how do we grab it i'm gonna open up this i'm gonna say this dot attributes and for the attributes we're gonna pass in that as simple as that now we could also get this so i'm gonna say let this underscore val be equal to there i could just say this as simple as that and now let me go ahead and log i'm gonna say wishlist id is so wishlist id is then over here let's just log the wishlist id um wishlist underscore id okay so we did that one now let's go ahead and refresh this to see if it actually works when we when we try clicking on it i'm going to open up my dev tools and um as you can see it's opened up so what i want to do is just scroll all the way to that then let's click on one of this okay what do you notice wishlist id is two wishlist id is three wishlist id is one working perfectly well so now when we've done all this let's go ahead and write the ajax so i'm going to say dollar ajax this is supposed to be dollar ajax and open up parentheses open up braces and in here so the first thing that is going to be needing is a url and remember we called the url remove from wish list so i'm just going to grab this and over here we are going to put it in but this you have a slash over there at the back now there's going to be a comma the next thing that is going to be needing is the data so what data do we want to pass in remember in the views what we said that we're grabbing it was was id so remember id but you could change this to whatever you want you could call it wishlist id or whatever so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna head back to to the function and i'm gonna call id because that's what we got then the id is gonna be what wishlist id as simple as that so um that's pretty much it now another thing that we're gonna be needing is we could say before send then we'll console log delete but for that let's pass in the data type that we have that we're using it's called it's json and i'm gonna say before send what do we want to pass in i'm gonna create a simple function and this function should simply log something onto the console we're gonna say deleting product from wish list okay so that's for before send now how about when it's sent so that's when it's gonna be a success function success function and um we need to go ahead and pass in the new data so how do we do that firstly in the in the wish list html i'm going to scroll all the way to the top and i want to give this an id so this id what can we call it we could say we want to call it wish list list weird name but i'm just going to give the main an id of that and in the function over here i'm simply gonna grab onto that wish list list weird name thing that we gave this is it and you want to make sure to put a hash over there so you don't get any problem now this function should also take in a parameter response you could call that whatever you want and for this one i'm simply going to overwrite the html which is the whole page itself and what do i want to add i want to add the response dot data so response is this response over here if you call just burrito then make sure you pass burrito dot data this data is pretty much this one that we passed in over here this one over here rather so whatever you call this burrito or whatever is what you should pass in there as response dot butitioto whatever so i'm gonna pass in data over here again sticking with naming conventions and um as you can see everything seems to be working perfectly well so i still running everything looks great now let's go ahead and refresh this and hopefully we're gonna get an error to fix it together so um now everything is loaded up i'm gonna go ahead and delete this okay we got an error great so it's not working but it's, it's keep saying deleting from wish list which means it didn't actually hit the success function that's amazing so um 
let's see let's see in i think the problem should be from the okay you know what i'm gonna look at network hopefully we're gonna get something that should help us fix this error but before i do that i want to hit the the delete from wishlist again i'm gonna hit this okay so we got this problem that says manager isn't accessible via wishlist model blah 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 instances okay so what's the problem over here i think the, the problem is from here so remember i said products okay this is the problem so it's supposed to be products that delete and not products that objects does delete hopefully you guys understand so with that now let's come over here and give this a, a hard refresh again and um hopefully this time around it's gonna work well or i think hopefully we should get an error so we go ahead and fix it together and not all you guys doing that by yourself so i'm gonna hit this okay nice one we get an error so it says objects type query set is not json serializable blah 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 now let's see what does this point us to anywhere so if you take a close look then you see that we get in this error that says objects type of query sets is not json serializable and this error is pretty much because we need to convert the wish list thing over here this wish list that we had that we that we listed out over here using this filter we need to convert it to json and how do we do that so if you open up the e-commerce platform then you see that over here firstly we need to import this from django.core we need to import serializers and um we could just do that over here or if you don't want to do it here you could do it at the top so i could head over to the top and i could just paste this somewhere here and that should that should do it now we need to go ahead and change up a couple of things as you can see over here it says we should go ahead and serialize this so I could copy this over here and I'm going to paste it down here. And this is the JSON and we could just, we could, we could change this to wishlist JSON or whatever, but I just called it queries JSON. So over here, or query sets J JSON, that's why I just called it. So I'm just going to say wishlist JSON should be equal to this. So I'm serializing this wishlist now. And finally, we need to go ahead and pass in that and um, pass in the, the wishlist JSON in here. So I'm going to copy the wishlist JSON and that's what we should pass in here. And make sure that this is wish list, okay? So I'm gonna copy this and make sure that this over here is wish list. And I'm making that wish list because if you open up our wish list wish the HTML, okay, okay, yeah, that's it. Let's go ahead and refresh this. Then if, if we get any error, we're gonna go ahead and fix it. So we refresh this now and um, let's hit this. And what do you notice? It's gone, right? As you can see, it went, it just slid out very, very easily and normally okay so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna go ahead and add a couple of things again to the to the wish list so that you guys can see that now i'm gonna get back here and i'm simply gonna i'm gonna scroll down and let's click on this this and this and what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna open up the the wish list again and this is what we got so what i'm gonna do is go ahead and click on this one as you can see it's gone click on this one it's gone and um okay okay i think it's not going because we don't have that in the we don't have it in here so if we open up the the wish list so let's just open up the wish list i'm gonna i'm gonna get down here and open up this wish list and i'm gonna look for this is for w in w that's great now over here in the view i wasn't supposed to change this I'm, i was still supposed to stick with w okay so with that now let's refresh this and let's see what what's gonna happen so if you refresh as you can see it's gone and let's click on this also so as you can see it's not removing from over here and that's kind of weird what i think we could do is go ahead and pass in this button you see this button over here i think we should just pass it in to the wish list as you can see that's not what we have over there so i'm just gonna override it with that link and pass it in there because whenever we click on this button what shows up now is this wish list page not this one anymore so we want to be able to still do this from over here so now let's refresh and that means we need to go ahead and add in a couple of things to our wish list again so um i'm gonna get over here i'm gonna click on this a couple of time a couple of time times and um let's refresh this one more and we click on this that's gone we click on this that's gone we click on this that's gone so that's pretty much it guys hopefully you guys enjoyed the video and learned something new i think we are actually done with this tutorial and in the next one we should go ahead and start working with chats js and we're going to be displaying um all our orders in the dashboard using chat js to make sure to drop a like consider subscribing as it really mean the world to me and also you want to get the templates to follow along with the tutorial to make sure to check out the link in the description below that should help you and point you to the right direction to get a template and on to the next video mad love peace out